The Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, Most Reverend Ignatius K. Gemma, has admonished priests to heal the broken-hearted and bring relief to those who mourn. Archbishop K. Gemma gave this admonition during the ordination of seven new priests in Abuja. CTV's Tony Abba completes the report. The ordination of seven new priests by the Chief Shepherd of Abuja Archdiocese, Most Reverend Ignatius Kegama, was historic in various aspects. Not just because seven new laborers have been added to the vineyard of God, but it is also the first ordination officiated by Archbishop Kegama as the Archbishop of Abuja Archdiocese. The ordination took place at the Pro Cathedral Area 3, Gariki, Abuja. In his homily, Archbishop Kegama who was the ordaining prelate, admonished priest to heal the broken-hearted and provide relief for those who mourn. The new priests we ordain today, other than preaching the word and celebrating the sacraments, are called, according to Isaiah chapter 63, verses 1 to 3, to heal the broken-hearted, to serve the poor, to bring relief to those who mourn, captives, widows, orphans, the sick, and prisoners who are often neglected by society. Kegama also encouraged the new priest to be close to Jesus and see prayers as the oxygen and secret of their success. By accepting ordination, they have opted to be very close friends of Jesus and to make more friends for Jesus. Prayer will be the secret of their success, as it is the oxygen for priestly ministry. When a priest stops praying or prays without proper interior stillness, he suffers what I call spiritual asphyxiation. When you suffer from asphyxiation, no energy, and therefore weakness sets in and you can collapse. After the homily, the ordination rite was performed. The new priests were vested with stole and chasuble. The ordaining prelate presented to the new priest the chalice as an instrument for their priestly office. Some of the new priests spoke to CTV. It has not been easy. It has been stressful, it has been demanding, it has been tasking. But by the grace of God, we are here today to give thanks to God and to celebrate with our friends the Archdiocese, the gift of the priesthood. And we are so privileged that we are the first set to be ordained by the new Archbishop of our diocese. I thank God for the grace of the priesthood for my ordination today. We thank him for the sustenance he has given us all these years. I will say may his name continue to be glorified and exalted both now and forever. I am so happy today for what the Lord has done. On what as I am, he has chosen me to be his priest and to serve his people. I am so happy. I words cannot explain how I feel. I am most happy and I'm asking that the Lord will bless all those who have supported me up to this point. I thank him for what he has done in my life, for my family for the archdiocese, for the bishops and the cardinal, for all they have done and also my formators who have helped me to ascend this sacred altar. And as I have ascended this sacred altar, I pray that God will continue to help me. It's an honor which none of us could have gotten for ourselves. We can only thank God and we pray that God may use us as vessels to draw more people to himself, not to us, but to himself, that at the end of this life, we may meet him in his glory. It's a day I never expected will ever come to an end. But I think with this very gesture, with this ceremony, God has made me know that it is actually possible that whatever has a beginning will certainly have an end. Indeed, it's an end, yet the beginning of a new era. And um, seeking his grace, that only through his grace alone can the event of this ordination, my, my being called into the priestly line, be achieved. <laughs> In Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.